Hi, this is Janos, it is Reverb Audio, and this is just a little report. I think you might remember that video when I showed that I changed the FCA driver's internal uh, hookup so that the tinsel wire that runs to the voice coil, it runs to a binding post, and then you can hook up the internal wires to that binding post. And the internal wires then run to the binding post in the back of the speaker and there you can hook up your speaker cables there. So now I have shortened the path so that the internal hookup wire it connects directly to the tinsel wire bypassing the binding post and that internal binding post is just used as a mechanical connector where the internal wire plus the tinsel wire, it's, it meets on top. So it's just uh, to make sure that uh, if for some reason one or the other was yanked, then we don't tear that very sensitive wire. So you see the tinsel wire runs there. So there are those two spots there. That's where that internal hookup wire runs to the voice core. That's where it meets the voice core. So what I did is uh, now you recently re read my report on Nelly spotting it out after the change that this side was much less broken in than the other side because I only changed that internal wiring on this side as of yet and I let it run like that. So that was one experiment uh that uh, she spotted that right away that it needed breaking in but my other experiment was to let it uh, burn in uh, and uh, and eventually within about two days uh, that internal uh, bypassing the the solder joint there that was brand new it, it stabilized uh, and now it is stable and um, they feel as if they are broken in, burned in to the same level for the two speakers. Yet there is a marked difference between the two because I have not changed the other yet. So I let it run with the tinsel wire going to the binding post. And I will do the change only uh, a little bit later because I wanted to observe the effect and report on it. So coming back here, what is it that I observe? So I just paused the music now, I did some extra listening. Uh, actually every day I, I did this and, and just uh, watched out what I can observe, what's the difference between the two uh, channels. And uh, generally my impression was that this direct connection made this side sound about uh, a dB or even two dBs louder than it was before. So the apparent sensitivity went up quite noticeably with this, with bypassing the internal binding post. And in addition, uh, so that was the first effect that I could notice after that internal, uh, after the the joint has started to settle in, started to burn in and then uh, uh, as it burned in properly or, or more over the hours or the days now what I notice is that there's a quite big, quite noticeable jump up in transparency compared to the other side so I've just been listening to flute music uh, with some uh, like droning bass in the background and uh, what I could hear from that is that on this side the flute is, is much much more cleaner discernible from the background music background noises than on the un unmodified side so here the transparency is quite a bit bigger. So the other side feels as if uh, the instruments and the sounds are kind of jumbled up together in comparison. So I can recommend this 
tweak for everyone if you want uh, greater transparency from your uh, driver and uh, on the other side where I have not bypassed this connection yet uh, it feels that the bass and the flute so so the bass instruments and the flute are mixing up and and there and, and the flute tone is quite a bit influenced by the bass but now on the other side with the, with the, the direct connection uh, the bass instruments uh, qualities those 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 lower tones they don't bleed into the flute and you can even hear the the lips uh, touching uh, the reed that and uh, and more intricacies of the flute playing coming out this way so uh, if you have uh, fun with your speakers if you have full range drivers but this works for any loudspeaker driver any kind you can try this uh, bypassing tweak to directly connect your internal hookup wire to the tinsel wire and uh, that will make for a, a, a noticeable big jump in transparency of course you have to know what you are doing you need to have uh, skilled fingers and uh, just be aware that the magnet structure uh, behind it's going to attract your uh, uh, soldering iron and <laughs> And in the process, as it's moving, as it's, as it's attracting force on it, you might uh, jerk your hand and poke through the cone with a hot solder iron. That's not a good idea. So you really uh, need to um, be uh, careful about it and you need to know what you are doing. And, and if you have uh, expensive drivers, then what I recommend is just get first a pair of cheap junk drivers even if they are blown uh, get a pair of blown drivers and uh, test out your skills on that and when you know that uh, you got the technique down then you go for for drivers that that are either expensive like like these cube audio fc drivers or in the case of the Alnicos, I, I really found them on the street, so they cost me only a little bit of time to stop by the road and, and pick up uh, the old, Z I mean, open up the old Zenit TV where the drivers were in and I scavenged them from the TV set. And uh, that, that's not a joke, that's what happened. And they are extremely beautiful uh, drivers they have amazing tonality they are alnico drivers uh, and uh, even though they didn't cost me any money but i would not start learning on them how to do this because if i mess up those drivers there is no money that could replace them uh, because they are not being made anymore and even worse they do not have any indication on them about who made them there's no model number on it nothing so they are truly irreplaceable if if i mess something up and as you see i made uh, face plugs for them so i did some serious doctoring with these drivers as well and i'm going to do a little bit more because what you can see here now i can see it on my screen that the paper cone here it, it has a, a whitish sheen to it. I, I hope everyone can see that compared to the jet blackness of the surround and the basket, the paper cone itself, it now it, it's turning gray, right? It's not jet black anymore, but it's gray. So when you see that happening to old paper cone drivers, especially on the wizard cone, it, it, it's almost completely white on the inside. So when you see that, that color change, that indicates that you need to treat the cones because uh, if you don't treat they will start breaking up and 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 cracking up and and they will be destroyed and gone forever so you will need to replace the cone and good luck finding these types of cones now they are not in production anymore and if they are they are not the same as the one in the driver 
so even if you can repair it uh, it will sound very different from how it sounds now however if you treat the cone then you can save the driver when it's at that stage so this is when you know that you need to do that treatment however that's for another video now i just told you and showed you that uh, it, it's really worthy to do that tweak to to have that direct connection it's really going to uh, make the level of transparency to jump up also the sensitivity the efficiency is noticeably going to go up um, and because of that if you have multiple driver loudspeaker let's say a two or three way then you need to be cautious that the uh, jump in efficiency might be different for your tweeter compared to mid-range or woofer and then you uh, after it breaks in you might need to adjust your crossover to balance the three out if they go out of balance because uh, the higher efficiency a driver the increase in efficiency will be greater when you do this direct tweak compared to a low efficiency driver so if your loudspeaker designer was smart and they used uh, three drivers on your three-way which have the same sensitivity then they will jump together and you won't need to change your crossover however if they did a job with uh, three drivers that have vastly different or significantly different sensitivities and they used internal resistor networks to level the uh, output of the drivers then you will find that they are going out of alignment when you are bypassing the direct connection uh, in them i mean bypassing the tab with the direct connection so thank you for tuning in for this video and of course all this trouble is non-existent when you have a single driver a full range driver because there is no crossover here so have an awesome day please like and subscribe my videos that will help other audiophiles, other music lovers and, and people who are interested to find this channel and to enjoy the knowledge and uh, and my uh, and share my adventures so thank you have a wonderful audio journey bye bye